Hi everyone, it's been a little while and that's because I'm so busy. I'm hoping to move house next Thursday, so that's a week tomorrow. And I've been really, really busy getting rid of a lot of stuff from my house. I've decided I wanna get rid of a lot of the decoration, the mirrors and some furniture and just start again when I get to my new place. So I've had people coming around buying stuff off me. I've given a lot of stuff away just so that the move is a minimal and then I just start again in my new house, which I'm really excited about. So I have been a very, very busy girl and I have work tomorrow. I've got four 12 hour shifts coming up starting tomorrow, but I thought I'd squeeze a little video out for you because I wanted to. So I saw Amy Loves Perfumes video that she released, I think it was today or yesterday, and it was on fragrances to wear in the high heat. Now, Amy, of course, is not the only one that's done a video like that. There's loads of them all over the tube, but it just inspired me. I love Amy Loves Perfume. Her videos are awesome. So if you don't know who she is, then naughty, naughty. Just go check her out. She's amazing. Really, really great videos. So because of Amy, I felt that I needed to do my high heat fragrances. But not only that, I just got a couple of tips for smelling good in the high heat. It's really difficult, actually, to stay smelling nice and fresh unless you take several showers a day and we can't always have that luxury. I'll start with some, uh, a couple of tips or things that I do to try and keep me feeling and smelling fresh. And one of them is, I haven't actually bought my deodorant down. I use a deodorant called Mitchum. It might be on the, oh, it's on the table. Yes, so here it is. I use this brand. I don't know if it's available everywhere. It's called Mitchum. And I always get the roll on, so the one with the roller ball. And it's a 48 hour unscented. So what I do is after my shower, I use that. While that's still damp, I spray with my Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino body spray. That then clings to the deodorant. And then as I get hot later on in the day, as I lift my arms up and, uh, and move around, I just get little wafts of Neroli Portofino, which is really, really nice. Now this of course is quite expensive. This was a gift, I didn't buy it for myself. If you don't want to lash out on a Tom Ford body spray, there are some really nice body sprays out there that are a lot cheaper. 4711 are one that are really cheap and they, it's a nice citrusy neroli cologne style smell and you could do the same thing with that but any body spray remembering that body sprays are not deodorants so that on its own will not stop you sweating and it will not stop you smelling but just attaching it to my deodorant helps keep me feeling fresher and as I move around as I say then I just get little light wafts of Neroli Portofino which is really nice and generally speaking in the summer I'm probably wearing something that fits with the smell of Neroli Portofino even if I'm not wearing that exact smell so that's one little tip another tip is just don't expect any fragrance to last if you're out in the hot sun it doesn't matter what you're wearing the hot sun will kill your fragrances so the best thing you can do if you really want to keep on smelling your fragrance is you just have to take a decant with you and just reapply you could wear a heavy fragrance if you wore something really heavy like a portrait of a lady, something of sort of oriental, something very strong, something oody, it will probably last a lot longer. And if you put it on your clothes, of course it will last longer. However, that smell in the high heat might be a little bit too much for other people. So if you don't care what anyone else thinks, then of course you can do that. If you're in a situation where you're outdoors and it doesn't really matter, you're not gonna be in too close quarters, then go for a stronger fragrance, but you may find it just feels a little inappropriate to smell something really strong in a high heat, which is why so many people do prefer freshies, your citruses and your aquatics in the summer, but it's not a rule and you don't have to follow it. But your freshies, generally speaking, just don't last that long, particularly in the high heat. So take a decant. That's it really. Also spray your hair. 
um, I spray around my hairline, even if you're someone with very short hair, you spray around your hairline, spray it under here and it all helps. But yeah, I find that if I wanna keep on smelling, then I have to respray. Let me give you some fragrances that I have been reaching for on the hotter days that have really served me well. So I'm gonna start with one, Pretty much all of these are probably in my summer videos, so I'm repeating myself, but these are the ones I feel that really serve you well in the high heat. So whether they serve you well because they last a bit longer or just because they just suit that high heat weather, I'll let you know. So this one is Molecule One, and the reason it's so good is that it actually lasts really, really well. And it, this is one of the exceptions to the rule of a fragrance that will not be killed by the hot sun. And I've had compliments on this following spending quite a lot of time in the hot sun. And I know for a fact that it is still very, very noticeable. Also, this is a great one for layering with your more lighter fragrances. But it's just a smell of a slightly musky, slightly cedar woody kind of thing sawdust but in a good way it's an unusual smell but very very attractive a lot of people really like it so molecule one i think is great in the high heat just because it lasts so long and it also isn't overly sweet or too much or too it's not too strong even though it lasts really really well and projects really well it's not heavy so it's really good for the high heat next one so this is a Colonia Ascenza by Aqua de Palma and I've worn this a few times in the high heat in the last couple of weeks and it has really served me well. It is a really fresh fragrance, lots and lots of citruses. There's every single citrus you can imagine, lemon, bergamot, grapefruit, everything is in there, but it's not just about citruses. You've also got some herbal elements. So it's kind of like a traditional cologne. It's got all of the traditional cologne ingredients, but they've added extra stuff. So there's rose, there's lily of the valley, there's amber, there's white musk. It's just a really, really nice, grown up, non-sweet, cologne style fragrance. It's got a little bit more going on and it lasts really, really well. I wore this to work the other day. It was a really hot day. I got out the shower and I just wanted, because it was still hot, even though I was going on the night shift, it was still hot, it was really hot in my house. So I needed to wear something fresh to make me feel like I was gonna smell clean. So I picked this and I went to work, now work is cold. So I work in a, a little office in the center of our building that is air conditioned to the point of being like being in Alaska. So as soon as I got to work, I was cold, but I worked for 12 hours and at the end of the night and throughout the night, I was getting wafts of this. So it certainly does have excellent longevity, uh, certainly in the once you're in a more cooler environment, but it's just a perfect fragrance if you want something that's very, giving you an air of being well groomed and clean and fresh, but actually has quite good longevity and strength. Perfect, so very professional kind of fragrance. So I'm nearly out, there's barely anything left there. I'm, I'm kind of gonna, my aim is to use this one up. I don't know if I'll get it again, it's probably not quite sweet enough for me to go for that often, but I could layer it, of course, with something sweeter. But yeah, I'm almost done with that one now. So this one is an Arroyo Portofino Aqua, and I'm wearing it here. And this one's just really, really nice. It's Neroli, obviously, but there's this beautiful white musk, ambery kind of white musk thing that's flowery and powdery and pretty but it's definitely fresh and it doesn't go too sweet so that's why it's perfect in the warmer weather this one you almost certainly will respray the longevity is not that amazing if i'm wearing it on a normal everyday kind of ambient temperature i will probably find that about five or six hours in would be my point to respray for me to really sort of be able to notice it but if you're wearing it out in the high heat, in the bleating, glaring sun, you may find you want to respray every two, three hours or so, depending. But again, it's one to spray on your clothes and your hair and all that stuff. But it, it just feels fresh, but a little bit more interesting because of that powdery sweetness that goes on in there. I really like that one. Then we're going to go for 
Chanel's Derville. Now, in Amy's video, she went for Bay Ritz, which I also own. Bay Ritz is a little bit sweeter and more orangey, I think. This one is more greener. So this is a combination of green notes, but they're not green, like foresty green, dark green. They are fresh green, sweet green, fizzy green, really, really nice green notes. And there's some orange, I think there's lime, bergamot. It feels green. I think the lime helps to make it feel green again. And it's just very fresh, a little bit sweet, but kind of sharp and sour at the same time. So it gives you that freshness that you get from a more bitter citrus note. Very sharp and reviving, and I really like that one. Again, longevity, probably not the best, just respray. These ones aren't too expensive by Chanel. They're not, I think I got this at the airport and it was around about 72 euros for the 125 mil. So that's not too bad. If you buy it from a Chanel boutique, you will pay a fair bit more, I think. But I think that's not bad value and it is a really, really pleasing fresh fragrance, completely unisex. They are all definitely 100% unisex, by the way. And then finally, this one is an exception to the rule. This is not a citrus freshy. This one's called Coco a la Vanilla and it's by Kai's perfumes. Kai's perfumes, they're based in the United States of America. And this one I've worn a, a few times. I mean, I've only had it a couple of months and I made a little dent. And this one is if you want something sweet. So it has this holiday feel because it's got coconut in it. It smells like a, uh, what's that coconut cocktail that's got cream in it? Pineapple something? Daiquiri? Oh, I, I don't bloody know. But it, it smells like a cocktail that's got coconut and cream and oh, all sorts of delicious stuff. It is definitely very, very strong with the vanilla. The, the coconut's more dominant to start with. The coconut gently, gently fades. It doesn't fade away, but it just gently takes the back seat and the vanilla starts to come forward as you're wearing it and it's really creamy and it's really exotic it's not fresh but it feels appropriate for a hot summer's day because it smells like you're on holiday it smells like you're covered in suntan lotion you're drinking cocktails maybe you've got an ice cream cone it just smells like the best holiday ever so i think it's perfectly appropriate in the high heat again you might want to respray it after four or five hours in the hot sun, but longevity is excellent because I had a spray of this last night before bed. And when I woke up in the morning, I could still smell it on my skin. So really excellent longevity with that one by Kai's Perfumes. That's it, that's my high heat fragrances. I really hope that you like them. I will be back soon, but I'm not quite sure when because I have to move house. But I have a couple of videos that will be coming up once I get sorted. So I've been tagged in a video by Kristin Beauty Meows tagged me in a video for doing a, a like the one fragrance to kill them all or, or something like that. The one universal fragrance, like the one and only fragrance. If there was only one fragrance, what should it be? So that one I'm pondering, but because a lot of my perfumes are packed up in boxes, it's difficult. I like to see all my, all my collection to make decisions on what needs to go in a video. So that will have to happen once I'm unpacked in my new house and maybe I'll show you my new house. I mean, you will see a little bit of it, but perhaps I'll take you on a little tour. So that's all to come. Wish me luck for the move. I think I'm going to need it, but do you know what? It's all going to go fantastically well and I'm just so happy to be moving and I will see you on the other side.